Well, just 10 days left until the election, and Hillary Clinton once again under investigation by the FBI. We learned last night, and it threw this race into turmoil. How are Democrats responding? Joining us now is Fox News contributor and Democratic strategist Richard Fowler. Richard, it's great to see you this morning. Um, morning so Tucker. we learned that apparently tens of thousands of relevant emails, presumably containing information that should not have been public, wound up on Anthony Weiner's laptop. Is there a pure distillation of the recklessness with which the Hillary people and Hillary herself handled information than this? Well, I think we know this is reckless. I think um, um, the FBI Director Comey said this and when he dismissed Kate, the charges against Hillary Clinton. What makes this um, story so problematic, in my opinion, Tucker, is that here's the thing. Hil none of these emails are actually from Hillary. We found in a reporting last night. These are emails that are from Huma Abedin to other members of the State Department that um, were on Anthony Weiner's personal cell phone. Mind you, uh, I think the facts are pretty uh, clear here that Huma Abedin and Anthony Weiner are married. Um, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people well, we share don't. I mean, the facts, in fact, aren't clear at all. We don't know that at all. Well, and no, 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 someone no, 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 on Twitter do know, said that, well, but it doesn't make, we it, make do it know. true. We actually don't know what's in these emails. We have no idea. No, and that's not true. I think there's a lot of reporters. Reporters, reporters have well, already well, let's, confirmed let's just, let's be real. that there's no Hillary Clinton that. emails here. Okay, look, there has been no confirmation from the Department of Justice, from the FBI, from Hillary, or from anybody that this is true. Some reporters said it on Twitter. Look, think of the things that we have believed to be true over the last six months that have turned out not to be true. FBI said that these emails are none of these emails are from Hillary Clinton. I think that's been pretty clear. The FBI and has I not think said and that. I think and no, I said reporters Some who reporter have sources in the FBI. Look, I'm just saying look, said we don't that. know. And number two okay. number two and most importantly, Tucker, in this in this whole scenario, whether you're Democrat, Republican, Green Party, Independent, Tea Party, I really don't care. It, with eleven days before this election, I think the American people deserve to know. The American voters deserve to know what are on these emails, and I think it's time for the FBI to say what okay. they have. Okay, what, what the American people deserve to know is that justice is impartial, and the people are not treated differently because they're more famous or richer or more powerful. I That's agree. the first thing they deserve to know. Second, they deserve to know whose fault this is. And I'd be interested in your take on this. Who's to blame? Is there a right-wing conspiracy under Loretta Lynch in the Justice Department? Is the media somehow putting a thumb on the scale for, for Donald Trump? I mean, is there anyone to blame other than Hillary Clinton? No, I, I don't think there's a blame to go around. I think what we need to see here is these, the American voter deserves to see these emails. Mike Pence, the vice presidential candidate for Donald Trump, said the same thing yesterday. The American voters deserve to see what this is because we know this is not going to end in 11 days, and people will be voting in 11 right. days, so they deserve to know this. Well, the timing is, of course, terrible. But the most important thing, the reason people come to this country from other countries, is, that, is because they believe everyone who lives here is equal under the law. And so don't you think that calls on Twitter and from the mob and from interested parties to hurry up this investigation are sort of the opposite of what we need? We need to know that justice is being meted out fairly regardless of the political no, no. timetable, don't we? Uh, fair, that's a fair point, Tucker. But I think with people getting ready to vote in 11 days... Right, and Donald Trump professed to this. Is a, he, you know, yesterday the FBI was rigged. Today the FBI is not rigged. I think we'll figure that out at the end of the day. But what what what, what the voters deserve to know here is what the FBI has. And instead of saying we're going to open up investigations, which they never do, we would have never known that Anthony Weiner was under investigation. Um, because the FBI never talks about their investigations. So this is unprecedented for the FBI to begin with. Right. So what I think needs to happen now is they need to show the American people, the American voters, the independent voters, the undecided voters, yeah. what it is they have so these voters can make an educated decision about this election. Yeah, uh, I, I think they may be on a different timetable. They, their main goal may not be getting Hillary elected. So they may no, be it's not about getting Hillary or Donald Trump elected. It's about the truth. <laughs> Richard, thanks a lot for joining us. I appreciate it. Good to see